What's good, guys? We back again with the Real Stuff World Podcast. We finna get into this Mama Duck and Brick Baby situation once again. So hit that like button, comment, subscribe. We gonna go ahead and watch this Brick Baby interview, you know. In my opinion, I feel like this guy right here, you know, he wants to be an OTF affiliate so bad. He wanna be from Chicago. He probably don't even wanna be from LA no more, a crib. So, you know, in my opinion, you know, he's one of those dick riding ass rappers, bro. Because in this interview, he basically just told, you know, what Vi did, you know, agreeing to every damn thing he said, you know, answering these flat ass type of questions. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. It's the real Kazar for Well podcast. Yes, we last did an interview. You know, some of the big, big news that came out, man, was that it was actually on the front page of the newspaper over there in Chicago, was that King Vaughn allegedly, you know, put a hundred grand on FBG Duck. I guess it started out as 50, but then they upped it, you know, and, um, you know, all this came out, the paperwork came out and everything. And, you know, it was just, it was some really big news, man. You know, what, what'd you think when you first seen that news? I mean, gotta have money to, 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 to beef it with the niggas with money. You better have some money to go ahead and hide yourself or whatever you gonna do. Can't go to war without the funding. You get what I'm saying? If he funded the way he dead now, shit, but uh, I commend that shit. Not like that, but it's like, if you really out here, uh, you got beef with these niggas and you got money and you got a chance to get them out the way, Hey, that's a part of the game. I respect the shooter. All times. I respect mm. the motherfucker going to go handle the business, bro. Because it's a lot of people that talk about it. And there's a lot of niggas that don't get it done. He wasn't just rapping about it. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Go full-fledged or don't do it at all. I think it said he wasn't just rapping about it. Go full-fledged or don't do it at all. So... Is the game for you street niggas to make it out the hood and make some fucking money with your life? Or is it just for you to stay in the hood and try to get your rep up, get your strikes up, and end up in jail for the rest of your life? Let me know what the fucking recipe is because all these street niggas got the same fucking recipe. Stay in the streets, you know, don't snitch, don't tell on nobody, you know. It's the same fucking recipe. We're going to jail for life. Fuck this shit. Fuck what nobody say. I ain't saying shit. It's the same fucking, you know, recipe, the death. Either way, you know, you guys can actually do something with yourself. Y'all be having big names out here, but you choose to do dumb shit like this, man. We're going to finish watching the video. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's one of them. And I ain't saying that he did or didn't, but shit. I salute that shit, nigga. And I, I, not because a duck died. Like, I don't know duck. I don't beef with the GDs. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't me just picking sides because it's OTF shit and all that. No. On the hood. You got the business handled, however it got handled. How the word got out that you did is some living in 2020, 2020 shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? is talking too much. How do they even know that you did? How do they even know that you did? So is it. Is it nigga Vine's mom? I mean, Duck's mom keep on acting like she a gangster, but she's fucking with the police at the same time and running the OnlyFans. Like, I don't commend her for shit that's going on. Like, yo, son died. Go sit down, auntie. Go take care. Like, come on, cuz, what do you got an OnlyFans for? You gonna, you gonna, you're gonna be a disgrace to your son like that? So your son died, you get some fame to show your ass on OnlyFans? Like, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to be Mama Duck, you Big 63rd and all that. You supporting that shit when motherfuckers rapping and all that, but then when some motherfuckers get clapped behind it, my mama would never support this crip shit. My mom's never, I'm never gonna go in the house and tell her, hey, we finna go spin on this nigga and knock this nigga down. And she know the play. She's never gonna say, hey, yeah, son, go get your man. Be a mom, cuz. I'm sick, son. That shit ain't straight. What the fuck are you talking to me about that? If you gonna go do something, go do it, you stupid mother What are you telling me for? I just wanna know, like, is this nigga actually, like, he actually talk about Bobby Duck in Chicago and FBG Duck, like, he really from Chicago? This 
They can sit over here talking about people like he really from their place. It probably wouldn't even survive over there. It'd probably be dead as fuck if he was over there. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's places the war zone, bro. It's not even built for me. It's not even built for me and not, not nobody. Nobody should have to live in Chicago with that type of violence. But this dude just sitting up here, you know, explaining shit, telling shit on the low, you know. Saying, oh, hey, yeah, Von did it, but why his mama got to get up there and snitch on everybody? That's basically what he's fucking saying. So, you know, man, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, man. We're going to finish watching the video. That's the type of shit that comes out of mother's mouth. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, like you want to be an asshole, do what you go in, do your thing. But the, the whole shit is, it was cool when everybody was dissing each other in them songs, though. You was bumping them songs. Y'all was getting the money from it. You was like, them niggas, too. Then your son got blew up. What was you telling for? are you working with the police for? Like, I don't understand it. And I don't respect it none. You don't see D-Thing mama going to go tell on no nigga. You get what I'm saying? You don't see that type of shit going on. But you know what I'm saying? There's levels to this shit, like, at the end of the day. And I'm saying, like, the internet has ruined the world. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just living in the demise of the internet. Like, it is what it is. We just living in the, in the aftermath, man. These cameras, all this technology, uh, six, uh, changed the way thugs be, are thugs. <laughs> hey, by the way, I am gonna show you a video where Baba Duck talks about it. The way he says, you know, they do shit on camera, like everybody be on the internet doing shit on camera. They got OTF was caught on camera. Leave it old block. Raid, leave it old block. Rush it to go forget it. Duck downtown. People don't know that. People don't want to talk about that part. It's a part in the video. Mama Duck speaks on it. The fans got the fucking footage. So it's nobody telling. You just a stupid dumbass street nigga. That think you got the edge over the police. You think you got the edge over the police. But guess what? Somebody going to find out. Somebody gon' tell it every time. So, you know, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, man. We're gonna watch the last little footage of this video. Then we're gonna play Mama Duck response. That's why it I, did. It did. did. It, it changed did. a lot, man. Yeah. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button. So, you know, We're going to go ahead and play this Mama Duck response, man. And I just want you to hear, you know, it's two videos. I just want you to hear, you know, she going to come back with her little clap back. She ain't going to let nobody disrespect her peoples. So, you know, go ahead and get into the video. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. The Real Cause for your podcast. Let me see how this brick baby pack tastes. Yeah, he alive, so I ain't dissing the dead. I'm dissing the live, motherfucker. You want to play with me? You want to smoke? Now I'm finna smoke your ass for real. And after she, she said that, guys, she went to another video where she talked about, you know, how he was snitching. And basically in the interview, you see for yourself, the shit that he was saying in this fucking interview, the shit that he was saying in this fucking interview, yeah, Vaughn, yeah, Vaughn put that bag on his head, but why you gotta be a snitch about it, though? Yeah, the cameras and the internet telling. No, the internet, they're not fucking telling, my nigga. Y'all niggas got caught leaving fucking old block, simple. You know, right at the time when he got killed. So that's just perfect fucking evidence for the damn, you know, trial. So go ahead, hit that like button, man. We are gonna play this last video. Let's get it. That's that I'm, I'm snitching on that. What about all the fucking cameras that seen they dumbass? But I'm snitching. <laughs> Big baby, this message go out to you. You get the mama duck big clout slap because your ass is, is bogus. You shouldn't have never even got your ass on the internet and spoke about shit that ain't got shit to do with California. Stay your ass in Cali. I bet dirt. Punching the air after your ass sit up there and say he punching the motherfucking air because y'all only probably know each other through music. 
You only know through, he don't know your ass like that. And for you to get your ass on the fucking internet and mixing in this guy, man, now knowing he under a motherfucking microscope, why would you even do that? Yo ass the real informant. It's a lot of y'all. Like she said, it's a lot of y'all doing that shit. You do street shit and then you get in the interview and speak on it. What the fuck kind of shit is that? You guys, man, I don't get it, man. Y'all just different nowadays, man, you know. Freak Baby basically just admitted, you know, in the interview that, you know, Von did put that money on his head and he don't respect the, the dead. He respect the shooters. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking sad on both sides, man. You know, street niggas can't get it right, you know. And then, you know, the mom, I really feel like at this point, she just needs to stop responding to these guys and let this case go by and then, like, prove her point. And then after that, she can respond, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I get why she do it. You know, she does have a content channel as well. You know, Mama Duck live stream. So it is what it is, man. This situation just fucked up all the way. So it's the Real Software Podcast, man. I'm out.